Uh, hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to, um, well, Franchise Hockey Manager 3. We're starting back up again. Uh, we're in our third season, I believe, of a, f no, we're, yeah, we're in our third season of our contract, I think, or our fourth season. Um, let's take a look here at some information. So, we've played the first game for this season. I don't remember when. Um... We're one zero. We did some roster change. We did some roster signings from the looks of it, in regards to players with potential. Well, I said the only guy that we don't have locked up for at least the next two years or this year and next year is our number one goalie here. Now, if I remember correctly, he wasn't even the goalie we were actually chasing after. Um, the goalie we were chasing after was in Denmark, and we lost him to something. So, we do have our backup locked up for another couple years which is actually pretty good um overall it looks like we have the majority of guys we want to make sure we continue forth with um other than the one goalie obviously we have them signed um but yeah um here's some stuff from the short lists 17 year olds 18 year olds Contract with under 18. I was right. We cannot sign one. Wait, no, we can sign people that are 16 or younger. Uh, but he's under contract with the Sweden under 18. And Sweden under 18 will not allow him to be released. Okay. Well, that's no big deal. So our short list is, if I'm not mistaken, um, we're looking for 16 and 17 year olds, um, even 15 year olds. We're watching them to see how they develop to sign them if they don't get picked up in the NHL. Um, the other thing we're looking for is obviously, I think if I go over to scouting, there we go. So we have someone looking in the French under 18. The rest of the world under 19, the French under 16, and then our own league as well. Uh, we're looking for basically any diamonds in the rough, any guys that we can sign and what have you. Financially, uh, we're sitting at 127000 to give to uh, to new players for, for signings if we want to. Um, we're pretty much set with our roster for now, but we have almost a million dollars to spend on re-ups. So we're going to look at a lot of these guys on our roster as they spend the year and as they go through and possibly, you know, sign guys if need be. Um, with that in mind, a um, couple things I want to do here. I want to look at my depth. And him. No big deal. Everyone in our... Uh, oof. Everyone here is actually on our team, which is not a good thing. Why can't I offer you? If I clicked on your name. Interesting, so I can't offer this guy a contract. Why not? I don't know why. It's been a while since I've played, so... Anyway, so our plan is hopefully to make the playoffs. One of the rules I don't like about this league is it's the league itself, not the game, just this league. Can't sign anyone more than at least one year in advance. So basically the best you can have is someone signed for this year and next year, and that's it. So I'm probably going to leave when my contract is up. Um, my contract is up in 2020, so we still have two more seasons to go through as the uh, Bordeaux Boxers GM. So with that in mind, we're going to continue. So we've won the championship once, I believe, already. Uh, there we go, right there. Yeah, we won in our first season.
No, we want our, yeah, so we've, oh, that's right, I signed an extension. So we're actually in the second half of our, of our contract. We signed a three-year contract, and then we signed another three-year contract. Or was it a two-year contract? I don't remember. Either way, we're contracted to 2020. Um, yeah, because Ruan, Ruan won, then we won, and then Angiers won. And we went to the finals all three of those years. Um, but now we're obviously in the next year. So we're definitely one of the the, 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 the premier teams. Uh, we'll have to see just how this year kind of shapes up. We're going to play the next game. The plan is to basically just sim the majority of games. And we lost against Angiers there. We also have an email. Uh, we lost... I have no idea why, but I can't see the bottom of the screen here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I can't uh, get to the bottom line of that of the screen. So Kevin Drusso, who is one of our right defensemen was injured in the last game but we have an extra d-man actually right here so we're gonna send him to our injury list no matter what and we're gonna dress morel here there we go we're gonna continue on to our next game so to be honest with you my drive to make this team the best team out there not much. The plan is to just cut my teeth, earn some stats, earn some points. Um, kind of get that XP to get my little points to spend on my, my guy so that I become the best GM out there. Um, as time progresses, obviously, and the hope is that I become the best guy out there. And I get offered a NHL contract, and hopefully contract with... Uh, an NHL team. Maybe even Team Canada. You never know. I think right now we're working with Team Norway internationally, so... Where are we sitting? So we're fourth overall, which isn't bad. We have four points. Problem there is it's three points for a win, zero points for a loss, uh, two points for an overtime win, and one point for going into overtime slash shootout. And still losing. Oh, is there an open spot? Oh, there's an open spot because I haven't changed up my lines yet. No big deal. AI lines. So I want to make sure our tactics are still pretty. They're still the same that's been doing us really well. Uh, which was on trap and cycle the puck. There we go. 7 1. So yeah, um. For those who don't play, fr uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 3 is basically um, kind of like a lot of the other franchise managers out there. You basically control your franchise. And you uh, you don't control ticket prices or anything like that. Um, there is no interaction with media and things like that, which I kind of wish there were. Um, there is no 3D engine associated with showing highlights, which, yet again, I wish there kind of was, a la um, Soccer Manager. Um, overall, I like this. I, li I like the way the feels and the way the email system is and all that stuff. It really gives you that feel of of, of uh, being the person in charge. I feel as though the communication email system could be obviously lived upon. They are currently working on Franchise Hockey Manager 4. Uh, one of the good things about games like this is as it's more and more evolving, um, it becomes, uh, well, a really, really good game. And so far, it's really good. It's on the... Uh, I think it's on sale right now, actually. Let's keep an eye on this guy, maybe. He's 24, though. He's kind of old. But everyone, yet again, in this league, one-year contract. Uh, how good are you? Uh, yeah, you're same thing. You're 24. So, once again, the whole thing about this league is everyone's to one-year contracts. Run a one-year contract. Oh, 
And I do have pic uh, pictures of these guys. I just don't know why they're not showing up today. And there we go. We won 4 1. Really not going to change up much much of our, our strategy right now. We're going to stay with the uh, you know variable shooting, uh, low risk of, uh, risk taking. Because to be honest with you, uh, when it comes to our team, we're not the most skilled. So I'd rather play a conservative style game uh, with high tempo, meaning that we're we're always going to be on them, jumping at them, and everything. But at the same time, you know, we're how can I put this? We're being defensively minded by high tempo. So we're doing things fast, but we're taking our time. We're, we're being very uh, defensive oriented, but fast paced. Actually, you can know, hover over tempo. So tempo is the pace of the game you attempt to enforce while controlling the puck. So if we have the puck, it's high tempo. And we have um, low risk slash variable options when it comes to our shooting. So. For variable shooting, basically, I believe variable shooting is. Let's go hop over shot. Shoot. So you have high glove, low stick, and low shots. We're going through variable. That means we're going to shoot um, all over the place, depending. Doesn't matter on what. Um, you can actually look at your goalies you're going to be playing up against and actually tell them where to shoot, preferably. Um, and then the risk is just how many shots basically you take. The tempo is just your speed with the puck. And here it just tells you, you know, if we're down by a goal, the odds of the G, of the uh, the coach doing things. Since I am the coach, I've kind of set these up generically. But my whole thing is neutrals on trap, get the puck, get shots on net if we have a good shot. If it's not a good shot, don't waste the shot. Keep, keep possession, basically. And the hope is that we can um, do pretty good because we're not the most skilled. So we don't want them to have the puck. Because we're not the most skilled. We probably won't know who we're going to be going up against until probably about... Uh, can I bring up the uh, schedule? Yeah, I can. Probably until October, no, probably actually November. In November, we should know when, uh, kind of where we sit versus where other teams sit, and that's when we can do any uh, purchasing from other from other leagues and things like that, which we probably won't do in this season. Um, just looking at salary here, for example. So we have a lot of guys signed as two seasons. So we've only got two defensemen signed over to next year. We got four forwards so far. But we don't have a salary cap, so we're fine. That's one of the good things about this league. There's no salary cap, but the catch there is that since there isn't a cap, we can sign as many people as we want for how much we want, as long as it's within our own financial um, bracket. But the catch-22 there is also that we're uh, a little on the hard end for, for, for money. 4-1. For there we go. Another win for us. I want to keep those main guys that I signed in the next year. I want to keep them as my, my core and kind of build on them, add more guys. Uh, okay, we're not too worried about someone on another team right now. Or is he? Yeah. We're away. Um, so we're not really pulling away, so to speak. We're, we are kind of differencing ourselves from the middle. But it looks like Grenoble and Dijon might be the teams we're going to be worried about. Uh, who do we actually have our loss against? Actually, we have a couple losses, so those are pretty season though. We had an over lo overtime loss to Angiers. Angiers is fourth last. Okay. That's good to know. In the moment where you're like, okay, the team that beat me is in a good position. <laughs> is in a really bad position. 5-3, we beat Gap. So 
So yeah, usually what I'll do is I'll skip over the gameplays itself because there is no 3D engine or anything like that. It kind of, you're basically just hitting play, 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 play. Um, that's, that's the part, the, the only part I find in this game is where it, it lacks. Is when you actually go into the game itself, it doesn't make me do anything. It doesn't feel like I'm being forced to do anything. If I can skip over it, I'll skip over it. Um, I feel as though if there was something in there that made me want to play, if there was that 3D, just the highlight system, where it's just simple rendered, um, doesn't even have to show the actual player's jerseys, just a generic player on player, and the goal. That's good. Or even how uh, some of the other hockey managers are, where it shows just the, the dots moving around. I'd have no problem with that. And this guy from Rouen is... I think I've added him to my shortlist, right? Yeah, I have. Interesting, but I'm not too worried about him. So we're slowly eking out on Grenoble here. Let's look at their stats real quick. So they're not the best team in the league. Maybe they'll do a transfer. They want 115000 for Michael Bernier, Bernier here. No, I'll offer it to him. Why not? We have 217 available, so. Plan will be to basically put him immediately into our system. Or actually sign him to a two year deal. Oh, we lost badly to the Lions there. Oh, we hit them. But they have shot us massively. And then up against the Rouen Dragons are uh, our nemesis. The nemesis team that we always play against. Heated rivalry. If rivalries were involved in this game, I'd be very interested. Uh, speeches to your players and to your team would be good. Uh, speaking to the media would be good. I wouldn't mind that. French players are players we want to sign long term. So for September, we got three guys here that we have signed in our development league. They're all getting a little bit better, which is good. And the Azure. Uh, so Anderson was for the Ducats, or for Angiers, and then uh, Fournier here is for the Ducats as well. No, same. So Angers and Dijon. Okay. Got a little one. Two teams have the same name in a league that only has a couple teams. A la the CFL and the Rough Riders. In this case, the Ducks. Actually, I'm going to Google that real quick. What does that mean? the Dukes. Interesting. Gotta love translation programs. Uh, so far as you... Oh, this is our board conference. Uh, we've, so far we've gone decent, but we need to improve, and we're 5-1-1. One, one. We need to improve. We need to lose no games, apparently. 
Though we lost one game and you noticed that we dropped all the way down to fourth. With three goal with three <laughs> three point wins, we could jump all over the place. Say for example, if uh, the Lions, Grenoble, and Dijon all lose their game and then we win ours, we jump all the way back up to first. If they play and we don't, they get even more of an advantage. It's a hard league. Very, very hard league. Now, mind you, even if we don't make the playoffs, we can still do a playoff within a playoff to still make the playoffs. It's hard to explain. Basically, uh, the bottom, I think, is the bottom six teams. Um, even if they lose, they'll actually still make the play. They'll still play. And the winner of all that, the top two teams, I think, go into the playoffs anyways. And we have an agreement. I will agree to that. So we sent 115000 to Grenoble, and then we signed this 18-year-old centerman who is possibly going to be a five-star player. That gives us a little bit more depth in center. I believe he's also a... Yeah, he's only two and a half star right now. Uh, which means he's actually not as good as any of the guys we have right now, which is no big deal. We're going to immediately send him to our under 18 and let him get a little better. I'm actually going to do the same thing with uh, Anderson right now. Send him to the under 20, and then I'm going to send him to the under 20 as well. How is our injury list going? He is day-to-day, -day, so he is close to coming back. Uh, when this red D comes back, we're actually going to send down... Morial, actually, is going to be sent down. Um, the reason why it's good to send these guys down is, A, they're not playing, so as long as I can get them down to the leagues below them, they can actually play and get better. Let's delete all this stuff. Plus, if I can get him, I can immediately sign him, throw him into the other league, or get him, sign him, extend him one year, and then put him down. Put him down. <laughs> put him down. Make it sound like he's a dog. Uh, this is a good one, so obviously your offer is serious, but sending me, uh, you're, you're ahead of the pack right now. See, this I don't understand. I... I'm ahead of the pack because I'm the only one that's actually allowed to do anything with him right now. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm actually going to clear the lines. AI lines. I want to make sure that you... Both goalies are cold, okay. Alright, so I am just actually just got a goalie that the goalies that are players that uh will do was drafted by the uh, Capitals. But we won. Now the question is, do we win? Yeah. Okay, so we we won in, in the third period. That's good. Okay. As long as we as long as we win in regular time, that gives us three points. Three point wins. Gotta win in regular time. You gotta win in regular time. If you don't, it's always a bad sign. It's always a bad sign. You're ready for full contact. So our guy is almost ready. Almost back. Um, how many games do we play over the season? So we can sign 16 year olds if we wanted to. Uh, 44 games. So at game 22 is when we're going to cut this off. 
So we have that open offer still for him. So we have to agree to terms with him. If we don't, he goes back to his team and we get our money back. Uh, financially, though, I still have 154000 I can try to coax a couple more of these teams out. But here's Fournier here. He's 16. They only want 105000 for him. I'll do that. I have no problem with buying players from other teams in our, within our league, mainly because just thinking of my dog. Um, that gives me the one up. I'm going to be doing better than they will. Perfect. Okay, so uh, Bernier here signed the deal with us. He agreed to the terms. Uh, I'm going to immediately sign and save a new contract. He wants a one hundred thirty-four thousand extension. I'm going to offer them the extension and then I'm also going to send him to the under 20. Oh, uh, so Bernier's deals out. Um, I want to trade, change this to oh, here's our short list, but it's with tasks. I kind of wish there was a, a window there. I like the windows, by the way. I love the way you can Pick each what each window is for specifically. Um, kind of wish there was one though that shows your your outgoing offers, not just your trade offers, but or at least your if your offers showed your trade offers as well. Like it said, trade offer blank. Uh, agree to sign. Yes, perfect. So we signed the extension as well, which is perfect. So there we go. We've now added another centerman. Uh, he is theoretically better than everybody else. Wait a minute, what? Wow, he is an amazing centerman. New team, wrong level. Oh, that's why he's not happy. Okay. Um, is there anything showing me? Yeah, it's his ability. This is his potential. No picture of this guy. I think I may have just screwed that guy up. Monster. Contracts. Because he should be showing up here, but he's not. Or is this the guy that I just signed? Oh, no, it's Bernier. There we go. Okay, right there, yeah. Wait, I just send the wrong guy now? No. Nope. So he has a level a five level. I'd love to scoot him out as well. So he's happy, all good to go, fine. because we have a Jules Bernier and a Michael Bernier. Well, Michael Bernier is actually playing. Why not? A lot of this stuff, as I mentioned, I did before. And I'm trying to remember how I did it, so... <laughs> Seven nothing win, which is really good. Uh, we lost a left winger. We're gonna move 
preview, and we're also going to look at our depth here and look up for a oh, whoops, look for a left winger. See, this is doesn't make sense. It says he's in our league. Jules, oh, Jules Bashner. You're right there. Yeah, I need to sign another right winger. I don't want these two guys up here. I gotta sign two really crappy right wingers. Only got forty one thousand dollars available. Um, how am I for? I can't see how I'm doing for. I think it says I'm at ten of eighteen foreign players. I think it says I'm at ten. We got 13. Okay, so I can sign two more. So we got two right wingers. Uh, Hundred and fifteen thousand. Don't think so. Twenty one thousand. That I can do. Uh, there's another French guy right here. You want twenty four thousand? I will submit an offer to you as well. I think I actually just signed these guys already. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, dress. Dress. I know. Um, you're going down to under 20. Dress you. And then you are going to be under 20 as well. Uh, you're coming back, and I have another guy that's injured, right? I got two guys that are injured, yeah. A right D and a left winger. So, Morel's going back down, and then and Andreasen will come back as well. No, oh, we're good. As the season goes, we can sign more people to fill up little slots here and there. More coffee. Oh. Uh, we're going to finalize this offer. I'm going to give him what he wants as well. He doesn't want a supplementary role. How about you are going to be then? Blue chip prospect. How's that? All right. So telling him he's going to be my blue chip prospect is actually going to get him to do it. Perfect. So he's good to go. Uh, our defenseman is back and good to go. Injury list. 
So I can move him back to the roster. Morale, you're going to the under 20. You're going to be dressed. Uh, financially, I want to see how this signing goes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shore up another defenseman, probably. Look for another right D out there somewhere. Actually, no, I'm not. Because he's 18, he's only a three-star player, so never mind. But... Why are you not happy? You're at the wrong level. So he needs to go down one. I have no idea why it says he's at the wrong level. Anyways, we gotta send down this guy right here. So we still need one more right winger. Wait a second. Yeah, Mitchell still hasn't... Hmm. Let's go with a Frenchman. You only want 20 grand. Forty grand that's gonna be coming out of that. Perfect. You signed the deal. Come back to our roster real quick. Send down um, you to our under twenty as well. And La La France kick it back out. Okay, yeah, whatever. Address you. So if I end up not making or winning this year, it's no big deal to me. My plan is to sign these other guys long term and to big deals. And if I'm not mistaken, I can't renew your contract. He's going to test the market. Good to know. You already signed long term. French players are players that we really want to make sure. No. So as long as we have them already extended the next year, the game doesn't allow us to extend them again, which is good. Uh, yeah, I know it has injuries. It's that guy right there. We're going to continue anyways. Uh, Fournier is just just playing with us. Trousseau is 100% good to go. Which was our injured defenseman. We're good to go there. But right, so that little frantic shuffling of our roster should be good to go still. So here we go. We're going to play against Dijon. Clear our lines. AI lines. Continue. Sim. And we lost 4-3, but we lost in overtime, so we still got a point out of that. But we're probably going to drop down. We're going to continue, and then this is going to be the end of this episode. We're going to see how we fit in the overall scheme of things here. One of the good things about this game is, or this this league, um, as I make money, I can sign more guys. So, so a bunch of streak information, no big deal. Forney still has not offered. We have eighty five thousand dollars available for for uh, for guys if we want to do anything here. You won't 
won't sign the extension. You, I'm gonna just let you go. Morel, we got you covered. I believe we have this guy covered. You're good. You're good. Summerlin, you actually want to try out the league. And we have you extended. Good. So all our, our prospects are covered. I'm probably going to go to like a, a Norwegian league where I can sign some of these players long term. Or even... Um, well, thing is with the with the uh, with the CHL, I wouldn't mind going there maybe next. Um, cut my teeth a little bit there, but the problem there is that you can do trades and stuff. But you can't, really, you won't have a player unless he's really good. You'll only have a player for three years if they're a player of normal caliber. You might get them for five. It all depends on basically who gets drafted, when they get drafted, and your drafting potential where you're going to draft from. Um, so it's one of those things where it's you have to be really good at developing players and drafting. Because um, basically players are going through your league to the NHL. Here, there's a lot of players that can't get to the NHL, aren't good enough for the NHL, aren't good for some of the major leagues. And then there might be the odd guy that's really good. Like, I was playing, um, like, what was it? Uh, was it two seasons ago? One of our players got drafted by the NH by a team in the NHL. So, they never sent a guy back, which means he stayed on the team. I'm just going to clear off some dust there off my, off my camera. So, I mean, but with that in mind, thanks for watching. That's going to be the end of this episode. Um, in the next one, we're going to continue on the season. And uh, also wanted to see how the views go for uh, for the startup of the season. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.